Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I welcome you to this great week. Listen, God has sent his word, and I told you severally, that is how he shows you his love. See, how does God reveal his love to you? He sends his word to you. So if God loves you, he will send you words. Praise God. And Jesus said, if you love me, keep my words. So I know God's expression of love to me when he sends his word. And that's why every time I sit down here to bring his words to you, I'm expressing his love to you. Praise God. All I'm saying is God loves you. You, and this is the proof, praise God. So, so get excited this week. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to, your, your heart is going to be open to receive his instructions. And then you are going to show him love by keeping his instructions that he's going to speak in your heart. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you today. Lord, we receive every word that you are releasing from your heart of love. And we keep it with the same love that you release it to us. Thank you, Lord, because we see manifestations of your truth in our lives. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. You are guiding us into all truth this week. And you will not hold back anything from us that is profitable. We receive our daily bread, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Turn your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 18. Matthew 1, 8. Praise God. Now, we are still on lessons from the Bible. And, and this week we're going to be looking at forgiveness forgiveness something i titled the the walking of forgiveness praise god the walking of forgiveness so matthew chapter 18 from verse 22 now let's start from verse 21 now it says then peter came to him and said I'm reading from the new king james bible now lord how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. Praise God. You know, I told you this whole series, we will take stories, real happenings from the, from the scripture, from the Bible, and then we are going to draw out every good thing that we can draw out from it. So we'll look at instructions, we'll look at stories, and then we'll look at faith and truth. Praise God. So, now, this is Peter. Now, now the writer of this, this story, Matthew, he was there when this thing took place. So, so now he is one of the disciples. For example, you see, you see Matthew and John out of the Gospels. These were the only two writers that were eyewitnesses of what they were writing about. See, Mark and Luke, they didn't walk with Jesus. They didn't meet Jesus. See? Because Mark got born again several years later after Jesus left. Luke got born again several years later after um, um, Jesus left. So they wrote what they were told. Now that's why Luke said, if you read from verse 1, say, And I haven't had perfect understanding of these things. Because he was told. Praise God. So, so when, you, when you read Matthew and you read John, you know you're talking, you're reading from eyewitnesses. Praise God. Not, not people who received it by revelation or not people that received it by being told they were there. So, so Matthew was here when this was written. Now that's just important for you. So then Peter sp came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him up to seven times. Now this is the response Jesus gave to him. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Praise God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Did you see that? He says, up to 70 times seven. Now, you, you, you want to think about that. See? 
See, he says, How often was someone sinned against him? And Jesus' response, now, now the response Jesus gave is not for you to start counting, okay, 70 times, seven times. You know, so let me start calculating. How many times have this person offended? Now that, that's not what Jesus was talking about. Jesus was actually saying, see, because Peter mentioned seven. So Jesus used his words to answer. He said, no, no, not just seven times. Seventy times your seven times. See? So if Peter had said four times, I'm sure Jesus would have said maybe 40 or 400 times, four times, <laughs> praise God. Or if Peter had said 10 times, Jesus would have said, no, maybe 1,000 times, 10 times. See? So, you know, we do it. Somebody asks you a question. You say, ah, no. And then you, 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 you know what I'm talking about. He, he put it out there. So the purpose is, listen, there is no counting of when you should start holding back your forgiveness. So what Jesus was in, in, uh, was in essence saying here is, you've got to forgive no matter how many times. You must forgive. Wow. Now, you look at this scripture. And then, you, you see now, Jesus went ahead and gave a parable. Let's not go into that parable. That's not for today. Now, he was saying how it's important that you forgive. See, forgiveness is very important. Now, now, now I like to think of it this way. And when I say I like to think of it this way, these are, these are things I've spent time with the Lord, you know, praying about it. Because... You see, when you live your life by faith, what does it mean to live your life by faith? To live your life by faith simply means you, you depend on the teachings of the Lord to you personally to live your life. It's not just say, I live my life according to what the Bible says. You, you, you see, when you, wait, now that's like religiosity, you know, you, you're living your life as you are expected to live your life. You, you get to the point where, and this is real faith now, you depend on the teaching of the Spirit of God for you to live your life. Now, how are you going to get these teachings? You see, these things are inter interwoven together. So, you've got to learn how to pray often. You've got to learn how to depend on the Holy Spirit for everything. You've got to learn how to depend on Him for every instruction and every wisdom that you're going to live by. But how do you get that wisdom? In a place of prayer. Now what do I mean? Oh, no. When, when, when something happens, your first thought is, your first thought goes to the Lord. So Lord, I, I really don't want to handle this thing the way I think. What do you think about it? Inquiring of the Lord is what I was sharing with you last week. Acknowledging Him in all your ways then he will begin to direct your path. So it's not just in the area of finances. This has to do with everything. You see, the life will live. You don't have to do anybody any evil for them to offend you. <laughs> oh, you, you need to learn that. You need to, you know, sometimes say, what did I do? You know, you, you, you sit down. You know, sometimes people hurt you. People try to do all manner of things to you. And sometimes you are looking for the provocation. You can't find any. You are wondering, no, did I do something to that person that, that made him behave this way? Did I offend him? Did I do something unknowingly? You are looking for, the truth is you don't have to. Let's see, humans are just naturally selfish. So someone is ready to betray you, not because he hates you, you know, primarily, see. Just because he wants to step on you to climb. It's selfishness. So someone will try to put you down. So that he will gain the advantage. So someone will backbite against you. Tell all manner of lies against you. Not because they, they are looking for how to squeeze. No, they are just selfish trying to get by. Now according to the wisdom that they have in them. That is the only way. You are now their obstacle. So if they can put you down, they will go high. 
It's just human way of thinking. See, a world without God. So that's the truth. So, so people will hurt you. You must accept that. People will try to hurt you. People will try to do things against you. You will wake up one day and realize the person you trust that has been doing stuff behind your back against you. How would you feel you're working with someone, you, you think this person is your friend, and one day you get to hear that that person gave a bad recommendation about you for a job, that, for a promotion that you were supposed to get. And, and, and you'll be wondering why. It's just possible you say, nah, this person can't just go ahead of me like that. Nah, nah, nah. We will be on the same level. Selfishness. That's just the world we live in. See? But there's something I want you to know. Now, Jesus said this, and he left it like that. And then he said, okay. So, I, anybody that hurts me, I should forgive the person. See? Now, when you study scriptures... So the Bible has already told us that the things that are written ahead, they are written for our learning. The same thing Paul wrote to Timothy. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and it is profitable for doctrine, for learning, for instruction in righteousness. So now you, you see a statement like this that Jesus made and you're wondering, is it possible? Is it possible to forgive? Now you want to think of what that guy did to you or that girl did to you, or that friend, that best friend of yours in secondary school did to you in the university or at your workplace, that, that person you trust, your boss, you want to think about how, how your boss, you know, you know, you just want to think about those things. You, 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 they didn't just like you, so they decided to fire you on, without notice. You know, you're thinking about all those things. So I should just forgive them like that. Now, these are things we're going to be talking about this week. I'm going to show you through scriptures how you can use those hurts to your advantage. Praise <laughs> God. See, listen, listen. You will get to that place where you'll be looking for someone to hurt you. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. See, because you, you don't know. One thing you must first of all accept as truth is this. No man can lift a finger, and I'm talking to you as a child of God, that is conscious that he is a child of God. No one will be able to lift a finger against you without God's permission. Oh, see, the day it settles in your heart, the better for you. Because I, I found out in life, it's, it's all about how you see. Not necessarily what you see, it's how you see. That's why even Jesus told him, he said, take it how you hear. He didn't say, take it what you hear, take it how you hear. Because we may all listen to the same thing, but we're going to hear differently. We may all be looking at the same thing. We're going to see things differently. It's about how you see or how you hear. This long old story about a, a, a man who was sent to, you know, the, the, he, he works in a shoe company. So he was sent out to a community to go and sell their shoes. And then he got there and came back and said, nah, 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 our shoes will not sell. And they said, why? He said, because I, I noticed those people, they don't wear shoes. So I don't think they will need our shoes because they, they, they are used to not wearing shoes. And then he came back and said, now. Now another person took up that same assignment and said, wow, there's a big market here. He said, what do you mean? He said, if only we will convince them of the need to wear shoes. We are going to sell shoes to everybody in this place. <laughs> you see? So the same thing both of them saw, but they saw differently. So you might be in the place of, oh, this person hurts me. And you've been there for the past 20 years. Someone else will look at that situation and say, you know what? Thank God this person hurts me. <laughs> so these are the things we're going to be looking at. Get, get ready. Get 
ready. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Our time is already up today. Father, we bless you today. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited already for what you're going to begin to open our hearts to see. Oh, precious Lord Jesus. This week is going to be a great week. We know already because we are seeing the fruit of it already today. Thank you for provisions, Lord, for everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.